Yup, let's get original crew, man. We're back. Back with another CJ the Chowder. Right, you guys. Why every time I try to do something, you look at me? I just like, look at you. No, you look like a motherfucker. Yeah, I see how you no, be looking. No, I just with look your at you. Because sometimes I what? I said, because sometimes it catch me off guard. Whatever. Do you? You're going to catch the right one one day. Boy. Don't play. You do a lot of this. I don't do a lot of nothing. I don't do a lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Man, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this one, man. A Legacy of Greatness, a continuation of the series he dropped from last week. So, he dropped part two today. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it for y'all today. So, with that being said, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Lucky there with a thumbs up. With that being said, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about, y'all. So then the king came out. So you would have to think, this man is the king of his village. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. This is trash. I'm the king, you want to my ass All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ryuga trial. And ladies and gentlemen, we already know what's up. After the longest Exhibit 8 in roundtable history, and with a whopping score of 161, it is time to submit the legacy of the greatest nigga to ever wield a spinning top. So y'all already know we got all the rest of the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to rock and roll. So without further ado, Exhibit B. Y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? I now present to you Exhibit B, Return of the Goat. <laughs> Now, as we know, Ryuga suffered the first loss of his career off of some bush because we know in anime, the power of friendship is undefeated. So you would have to think, usually after a main antagonist loses, it kind of fall off. I mean, it happens to the best of them. But Ryuga, shit. After this man lost, this man went straight back to the lab in a boiling hot volcano. And bro was serious about never getting hoed ever again. This man trained his ass off, overcame the dark power, and unlocked Meteo El Drago. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> nobody was fucking with this. Now, I'ma just go ahead and tell you that now. So now we move on to Italy, and we have our sights set again on Subasa. Now we all remember that bro got boomed and completely annihilated at Battle Bladers. But get this, bro did not just get put in a coma. No, this brother got immense PTSD. The dark power literally infected bro. You know what, this is a whole point, bro. He literally transmutated a whole disease to this nigga. So infected Subasa ends up pulling up on Team Excalibur and is straight up trying to murder them. But while they're fighting, they end up hearing something in the distance. <laughs> oh, did you all hear that? Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> Yo, for the... <laughs> That ain't even no go. What's what this sound like? <laughs> you do one. Do do a go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she said man. <laughs> she said man. <laughs> me. Okay, I'll do me. it. Is that a This sound like a sheep? This sound like a sheep. <laughs> what do a go sound like? <laughs> do they sound similar? I know, I got, I got, you know what I'm saying? I got love. With love. Them. I'm just playing. Love. I'm just playing. You, you said that too. And I told y'all last one of these videos, when somebody said love, they, that's disrespect. So if anybody say you got some love something, I see you with your little beard. That little beard? They, 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 <laughs> they, they being disrespectful. I see a little beard saying. growing in. Oh, I see a little twist. Tell them, bitch, put some respect on my dreads. Locks. I was just playing though. Dreads. Oh, it's the goal! 
And look at this nigga. This nigga is walking in with a meteor shower. And bro wasn't even done. He summoned his bay as a meteor and just blew up the whole area, making a massive crater. This right here might be one of the greatest entrances of all time. But that we ain't gonna forget the fact, facts. though, that that is a massive amount of environmental damage, my nigga. Like, yeah. this man was this close to probably starting the world's largest wildfire. But look at him. Bro did not come to play games. Dude immediately just starts to wreak havoc and sends these two flying. And he wasn't even done with him. Bro said, ah, El Draco, cut that nigga. And bro right here gets boomed. And the fact that he just watched these two with ease is just wild. Because Team Excalibur are basically the Euro League champions. And he watched them in under 30 seconds. So Julian comes to save his teammates from getting thrashed anymore. And the thing is, Julian's bay has reverse rotation as well. And also, not to mention, this nigga is a elegant asshole. So Ryuga looked at bro and said, Ah, that's a nice tour you got there, buddy. Where'd you get that piece of shit from, Timo? I beg your pardon? So Ryuga retracts his bay, and before he leaves, he tells him, Remember this, you pompous ass. There can only be one, one reverse rotation bay in this world, and it belongs to me, the GOAT! <laughs> So after that confrontation, this man travels to America and he's somewhere just in the Grand Canyon. So these soldiers come up and tell him, breathe, put your hands in the motherfucking air or we gonna boom your shit, nigga. And they got the red dot sights, the lasers and everything. They look like they're really about to kill this man. But this confrontation is when Ryuga showed that he is on a different level than everybody else. I kid you not, this man laughed and threw out his bay with his bare hands. Is this nigga serious? This nigga don't even need the launcher no more. And obviously the soldiers are pissed. Nigga, this is premium disrespect. This is the equivalent to bringing a knife to a gunfight. Oh! So they end up shooting at him and their base keep on hitting his, but all that is just making El Drago rotate even faster and their impending doom more imminent. So yeah, it was over for them. All five of them get free. Yeah, them boys are dead. Let's be honest. Them niggas got baked. You ain't gotta kill me. Just knock me out. I'm, I'm cool with them. I, I let my no, life. No, we take you out. No, I let my life. Should've showed up then. I have a job to do. Well, choose your battles wisely. I had no choice. It's mandatory. You always got choices. It's mandatory. And you for, always got choices. It's mandatory for service. So we all gotta do this. You're born a man. You gotta serve. And hey. So I'm here off of off of force, not one. I'm, yeah, I, I play that. Play that. <laughs> Tell you, bro. Ah. Let me be one to call. I play that. How you want me? <laughs> How you want you me do like it? One of those. How you want me do it? Tell you, bro. But a man in a hood ends up stopping his attack, and it is none other than Zesty Jack. <laughs> So Jack ends up taking Ryuga to Hades City and brings him to HD Academy, which is basically a developmental academy for bladers. And it is ran by none other than Dr. Ziggurat. So Ryuga mad as hell, cause he came for the smoke and they wasted his time and also trying to do experiments on El Drago. Look at him, bro tried to kill Jack. Bro was lucky he was behind bulletproof glass. So they end up making him fight Zio, who is a literal bum compared to Ryuga. So they get to letting it rip and Ryuga's already pushing them back. But to be fair, Ryuga you could did have to come over adversity in this fight because this man's bay was built so fucking awkward because he had this fat ass spinner stim i don't know what the fuck that is but it's fat as shit and this man zeo talking shit too bro saying ha you can't beat my big sis not a chance in hell like bro do you know who the f you're going against oh dylan brooks ass nigga so it took like a good minute for ryuga to read bro then he told him nigga when my name come up respect it huh stop playing with my name I ain't gonna say it no more. So this man pulled out his new special move, and instead of shooting Gala guns, bros now shooting Sons and blows this nigga's bay up and pins it in the ground. Dang. Nigga out here disrespecting the goat. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is, little bro? So this man, Dr. Ziggurat, ends up trying to trap this man, Ryuga, but they just pissed off bro even more. Nigga said, get me the fuck out this musty ass room. So bro <laughs> blows a hole in the building to make his escape. 
But this man, Dr. Ziggurat, was on straight dick. Bro was like, oh, I need that man for my world domination. So later on that day, this man sends Zio and like eight soldiers to jump him in the park. And Ryuga looks completely no, no, dumb. Bro no, told him, ah, can you niggas get off my dick? I can't even breathe. So all the soldiers end up shooting at him. Bro, Ryuga you can hit the shadur on their ass. Bro said, look at the ice on my wrist, nigga. Okay. And blows them all up. And this man just caught another eight bodies. Hell no. Look at them. Oh, the boys God. ain't breathing. Hey, I mean, at least the family gonna have the full body intact for the funeral. Unlike that other <laughs> nigga from the training regiment. Oh. So now we move on to the world. I told y'all, bro. Just ask the nigga, how you want me to play dead? I... You know, some people, it don't work like that. Why well, I thought that shit said the WNBA. <laughs> Who like, showed up to that shit? <laughs> I right, look quick. You ain't showing up. Championship. And at the moment, Team Japan is cooked. Masamune got his arm broke. Tsubasa and you got boomed before the tournament even started. So they had this man, Jenga, about to carry the whole team. So Jenga would have to face Zesty Jack next. But a meteor ends up coming in. So. And this man, Ryuga, ends up pulling up. <laughs> Would you call me? Hold on, hold on. We gotta get some shit. <laughs> What you call me? I ain't call you nothing. No, you I call me. I mouth something, but I ain't no, what say you it out loud. What you I mouth? I didn't say it out loud, so I'm not going to say it. No, man, man no, up. Man up. <laughs> I ain't you, no you, man. You, you, you fish your mouth to mumble it. You fish your mouth to say it. I ain't even say the whole word. I just said bit. Okay, you know not to. Oh. <laughs> I told you about get on this camera. Act crazy. You gonna make Yo, it. She, she, she tried to hide. She was figuring me off, y'all. I ain't trying to hide. It was just for you. She tried to hide it. I ain't gonna do it all in the air, you know. You were gonna do a body? <laughs> I was just gonna give you a little something. You know, hey. No. No, because that would disrespect, bro. You do it all the time. No, because you knew you weren't gonna show up to no damn WNBA game. None of us show up to this bullshit. We support them in college, but after that, we like, we don't care to keep up no more. We all do the same thing. This ain't about that. So Jenga will have to face this Jack next. But a meteor ends up coming in. Feeling. And this man Ryuga Sorry. ends up pulling up. No! No! I actually feel so bad for her. She really got PTSD from this nigga. Oh. I said, y'all gonna have the world championship without me? <laughs> Bitch, sub me in. I'll cut this blue lipstick zesty motherfucker in a heartbeat. So Ryuga and Jack end up oh. starting to fight. And uh -oh. this man Jack is batshit crazy. Not even gonna lie to you. This man was like, oh, I can't wait to turn you into a walk of art. You've got my creative juices running right, nigga. Uh -oh. This what? nigga is crazy. <laughs> so this man Jack pulls out his peacock and shoots an attack at him, but Ryuga stood there unfazed and El Drago completely ate it, but Jack did not let off the pressure. Bro just started to push Ryuga while he was carving his art in the stadium. Like, look, bro, you a bitch. Like, fuck wrong with this nigga? So this man tries to finish his work of art by trying to drill El Drago into the eye, and it looks like he almost had this man. El Drago was slowing down and everything, but Ryuga had this man right where he wanted him. El Drago just starts going berserk. What the Ryuga fuck? tells him he wasn't even trying the whole fight. So yeah, it was time to pack up Zesty Jack. So bro charges up his Dragon Emperor Girl. Supreme Flight and strangles the fuck out of this peacock and incinerates it. And to finish off that man's work of art, Ryuga shot that man's bay into the peacock's eye. And this oh. man, Jack, lost his mind, bro. He was like, no, no, my work of art, my Mona Lisa. <laughs> but this man, Ryuga, was not Damn. done. He looked at this man, Dr. Ziggurat, looking all safe and shit in his skybox, and shoots his bay and scarred him with the glass. This man, Ryuga, told him, get off my dick, nigga. Oh. And after this, they won the tournament. So Ryuga technically is now the world champion. Or just walked in the middle of the championships and left with a ring. So after the world championships, Dr. Ziggurat basically reveals to the entire world that he's a terrorist in Haiti. Haiti City is a literal flying nuke. And this man is a whole arms dealer. He's trying to sell it to the country with the highest bid. And come on, we know who's gonna buy that. America, fuck yeah. 
So while Hades City is out here floating and is about to terrorize the world, Ryuga is just looking at it from the distance. And my god, this has gotta be this man's wildest feet. This man Ryuga said, fuck you, fuck your city, fuck your nuke, and fuck Skypea. Cause I'm about to make this bitch Atlantis. So this man shoots El Drago and blows up the damn core. And look at this nigga Ziggurat. Oh, what was that? Emergency sir, somebody has blown up the fucking island. We are about to sink. And look at El Drago. It literally just ripped through the entire city. And that hole just started going down. It was GG's for that whole city they got lucky they even landed that hole to get everybody off the island but yeah technically bro sunk this whole island so this is property damage to the absolute max this ain't no damn stadium this is a whole city that's a whole 50 points bro niggas ruthless they're messed Don't up give a fuck. that's why that's i told you we won't go let you play that inspirational very really inspirational for you yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Exhibit C. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you our final exhibit, a legacy of greatness. We now set our sights to a remote village on a island that has experienced recent events of terror. As Jenga and his friends are searching for legendary bladers, they come across this man that recounts what happened to his village. In his words, he states, About two weeks ago, a man came here looking to infiltrate our sacred ground. He started to speak, but none of us could understand him. I beg, I beg your pardon. pardon. But then our village elder ended up realizing that he was speaking the ancient language of Gautamese. He then forced himself into our ancient ground. And now the volcano that we thought was sleep for years started to awake again. We angered the dragon god. So we got on our knees and glazed him for forgiveness. So yeah, if you can't tell who this is by the villagers recount, it is most definitely Ryuga. They thought this man was a literal god. Like they was on their knees glazing. Oh, glorious king Ryuga, please spare us. Oh, yo, this is ridiculous. First of all, he gets a point for breaking and entering on a sacred ground. And secondly, another one for terrorizing these villagers and basically having them in a hostage situation. So Kiyoya and Benke end up climbing the volcano and finding him. And obviously Kiyoya being the smoke demon he is, decided he wanted his rematch. That ass kicking from last time wasn't enough. So they start fighting and it is just absolute chaos while Ryuga is going absolutely berserk. And not gonna lie, you can probably guess what happened after this. Kiyoya started pressuring him for a bit, but that shit ain't working because Ryuga Tada has a new bay again, El Drago Destructor. So Kiyoya gets absolutely blasted. Like this man got cooked. Ryuga made this man unconscious again. And of course, here come Benke. Ah, my glorious Pookie Bear Kiyoya! So after Kiyoya gets boomed, guess who's next up on the list? Jinka. Bro was trying to convince Ryuga to join them on their quest, but this man did not care at all. Bro said, yeah, 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 shut the fuck up, whip out your bay, and show me that you ain't a fraud, nigga. So they start fighting, and Jinka starts getting blasted. Bro held nothing back against this nigga, and he just kept on yapping at him. Come on, pussy boy. Show me that that ring that you want against me wasn't some Mickey shit. So Jinka starts pushing back, but Ryuga said, no, 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 not today. So El Drago swaps modes, says, get the fuck Fuck off me, then Ryuga said to hell with it and blows up the volcano. <laughs> and there it is, game set. The main character was cooked. And Ryuga did what many other characters couldn't. Take the set over the main character. And look at him talking ish. I knew you were a fraud. That fucking Mickey ring, your friends weren't here to save you this time, buddy. So right before he's about to leave, this other little boy trying to fight him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm already- He got hard. Somebody come get their child. He got hard. He got hard enough to die. Yeah, anybody can have a heart. Yeah, in, in I respect him. Nah, you don't respect no fool. Can't this respect other no little fool. boy trying to fight him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm already <laughs> laughing, but this shit is embarrassing. This here. little nigga got his shit rocked. Then look at him. Bro tries to get up with a whole power up and everything. But Ryuga looked at blood and said, Man, nigga, fuck out my face. And incinerates this little nigga. Hey, man, I guess at least he tried. <laughs> <laughs>
So after Ryu could just casually body the main cast. Later on, this man heads to the Sahara Desert to a village that's having his annual tournament. So here's the announcer hyping up their strongest dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we all love him and know him. <laughs> Our village's strongest man, Sir Nando! <laughs> And his opponent, a random traveler that just came here a day ago. Wait, wait, wait a minute, is that who I think it is? Is there anything for random? Oh shit! That's the devil well, himself. And this whole tournament was just cooked. The strongest dude in the village, one shot. Dang. This big ass Sam Sulek built nigga got boomed. And he wasn't the only one, because every other opponent got one-shotted. Nobody Damn, stood a, a chance. So then the king came out. So you would have to think, this man is the king of his village. So no way he could be sorry, right? 12 seconds later. <laughs> yeah, one shot, two one. <laughs> this nigga is trash. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all need to hold a new election after that one. So then the final opponent of this tournament was Kenta in his big ass soccer ball ass head. Every time okay. I see this little nigga with his big ass head, I just wanna punt him. And yeah, uh, I ain't even gonna waste no time on this. Kenta joins the rest of the main cast. Boom! Oh. Gets made a statistic on this man's record. So after Kenta- At least it's a violation and not a kill. Violation just got, I'm telling you, I'll just lay down too. But the the king one, that's man, that's a lot that's embarrassing. Ain't the king supposed to be wise? He he won't wise. He was another damn fool. I mean he you know, he, he believed in himself. He thought that he could win. And he just didn't know. He only thing underestimated of, his opponent. Only thing that comes to somebody who thought <laughs> is the past. Cause I thought it's past tense, you get it? You gotta start thinking I thought. Shut up. You think correctly, you move correctly. We thought <laughs> past this, nigga. You are past this. Got boomed. He ended up following Ryuga trying to go on a journey of self discovery. And while they on the middle of their journey, they end up getting confronted by a tiger. But this man, Ryuga, was not phased. Bro walks it's up different. and mean mugs the tiger. He had bro yeah, shook. And look at Tony the Tiger making the right decision to have uh -huh. another day. Cause bro would have not been eating no more frosted flakes. His ass would have became a pelt. So after this, Ryuka ends up entering another battle royale because apparently there's a legendary <laughs> blader at the top of the tower. So it starts and while everybody's running, this man doesn't even move. Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly. So he waits for like a good 10 minutes. So when the final 11 are up here battling, this man decides to blow a hole in the tower and just knock out all 11 of them. But he wasn't done yet. He had to face Tsubasa in the finals. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this one might be worse than the last time they fought. This shit lasted for one minute tops. This man pulls out a new special move and sends his bay to the mountains. Look at Subasa, oh, bro. It's like, oh, no way I'm getting that back. Man, I found out till my knees when the law came. So after he sent Subasa's bay to Kingdom Come and made him take a hike, he tells the legendary blader to bring your ass out here. So bro comes out and he's like, wait, please, please, please. I, I, I'm not no legendary blader, bro. I, 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 I'm a fraud. Is this nigga serious? Yeah. So this man Ryuga was pissed off, bro. He thinking. He thinking. Like a bitch. Get up. I like how women always want to call a man a bitch when I ain't want to do this. She think they don't sound. Why you? Why you doing what you, that? What you gonna do then? See, and, and I'm standing ten toes down. And get your head not ten yeah, toes down. Fine, to this. But I ain't about to be on my knees, please. What? No. Get up. You embarrassing me. So what? What he should have did? Just ran the other way. No. No. Is all right. Is is life a life or death? You ain't gonna die. You just gonna lose a little bit. Nah, he done kill some motherfucker with that. But he ain't too. he ain't killing nobody right now. So just lose. I ain't taking my dead. You don't take your you chance. Take L's. You don't take your chance though. At least I stood ten toes down. Sell motherfucker that wants ten toes down. Hey, <laughs> I love how the motherfuckers try to hype you up <laughs> and tell you what you ought to do, and they wanna do the same damn thing. I'm gonna fight. You know you not. I, I, Yes, I am. <laughs> Look at you, say, I'm gonna be <laughs> 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 
<laughs> ain't never, a, you ain't uh, never played with a Beyblade a day in your life. You, I told you I did. No, you did. You said no. Yes, I did. I told you we used to play with them. Um, what you used to? Uh, <laughs> no, used to, I'm just saying. I just did what's that. What's this? What's this? For animation. I no, just did it's. That. Cause you, you still shoot it out. Okay, well, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless. That ain't shit but confusion. Cause he don't really know what she would do. How you, gonna call, gonna, him, how you gonna call him a bitch? At least he, at least he did think of something. To get on his knees. He think of, <laughs> that sounds bad. Well, that's that's what he doing. Shut up. Oh, no, he no, he bowing out. He, he like, hey, hey, you gotta be fine. Do it standing up. Get off your knees. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get back into it. Went over to his bay and stepped on it. And Blood said, I don't like my time to be wasted, nigga. And this man just destroys the entire tower. This man Damn. does not get tired of property damage. And then after he blows up the tower, <laughs> look at the old dude crawling out the thing like, oh, never sign me up for this ever again. So after yeah. this man just destroyed the tower of Babel, next up was Easter Island. Bro decided to participate in another battle royale. And look, people ain't even fighting them. They just cowering in fear and pissing they draws because they know it's pointless. But what one man decided to fight him, and that was Goku. <clears throat> I mean, AKA King. And I didn't mean Goku as a joke. No, look, that nigga is a Super Saiyan. So you gotta think to yourself, surely a Beyblading Super Saiyan can take him down, right? Man, shut your bitch ass up. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, he booms this. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. This nigga has cleared the whole verse, literally. So there was only one person that could actually take this man down. Oh. And it was no simple mortal. Oh no. This man's final battle is against a god. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten to this point. <laughs> I mean, no mortal can hang with the nigga, so why not a god? So he starts fighting Rago, and guess who's dick eating Rago? Hello there, Master Ayuga. As you can see, I found another man to glaze. Like, this nigga just hopped off dick and just went to bandwagon somebody else. So in this fight, Ryuga was going out with everything. Bro was just throwing nukes. But over time, Bro started to get his ass beat. Nemesis just started destroying this man. Like, this is literally the first time you ever see this nigga with battle scars. And this man doji over here talking shit. Oh, yes, look at you on the ground like a worm. My God, how in the hell did I ever dick eat you? But this man was not about to go out like no bitch. This uh -oh. man got up, had a legendary ass yap session, powered up and went in for his last attack and ended up having a massive clash. And the shockwave ends up hitting this man Doji and this man falls oh. to his death. Bro said, if I'm going out, I'm taking you with me, you fucking dick eater. But Dang. sadly, after that, this man Ryuga was cooked. And Bro gets hit with just straight Armageddon. Ooh. And Ryuga takes the second loss wow. of Dang. his career. Well, I mean, at least it was to a god of destruction. Man, you gonna go out. This how you go out, right? And ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the Ryuga trial. And after a very long week, I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go to sleep. So, uh, appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll update the whole leaderboards and everything later, bro. But until we meet again, I'm out this hoe. All right, CJ. I respect it, I respect it. You gonna go two out months. this way to go out. <laughs> you catch this. He said what? I didn't hear you, baby. No. Nah. But yeah, I was... <laughs> I didn't even say nothing towards you. I said, all right, CJ, we'll catch you in another two oh, months. Oh, my bad. I'm my bad. You know, he like taking a little hiatus. My bad. Damn. You know, you always talk. See how we want to take shots at the player, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, my bad. 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 You got to keep pimping, pimping. <laughs> Gonna keep your hoes in line. No, you ain't. Oh, y'all spent for something to come this bad. Oh, uh, hey, I, I haven't seen anybody play with Beyblade since I worked at the Boys and Girls Club. This dude, because you know they don't supposed to bring in a, uh, what you call it, right? They don't supposed to bring in like outside toys and stuff. So this kid, I think he was about eight, nine. He brought him in. We had to confiscate so I had to take him from him and take him to the front office. One of his little Beyblade, he, that nigga do a fit. When was the last time you played with him? I said, that's the last time I seen anybody no, play with him. No, I'm asking, when was the last time you've played with him? A long time ago. Oh, I feel like I... 
feel like I would. I feel like I used to see people play, like, when I was, like, in... Maybe that in was high like, school, I seen some people uh, yeah, playing, I but like I, I wasn't playing. In with high them. school or something, people used to I want, play. I have, I had them like back in like sixth grade, like. I used to just back, be over in a corner. And yeah, I was just yeah, like, yeah. What y'all got going? But yeah. last time I seen some, literally seen, seen it. Seen it, yeah. It seems it was a little kid back um, when I was in Boys and Girls Club. One hit little baby blades came on this. And they swore up and down. I took it. I said, what the fuck? I'm grown in hell. What the hell? I'm going to take a baby. He took that baby. B- <laughs> I'm just like, he probably just lost it. Or another little kid took it. You know what? I said, maybe he ain't bring it. I said, this is Maybe he did. I said, this is what he said. Yeah, Jesus! <laughs> he was white kid. He, he, he was mad at him. He probably ready to fight. Yeah, Jesus! I can't even got me to kind of look. The mom said, well, I told you not to bring it. I can't even <laughs> I said, I, I said, I want some bad blood. I said, I want some bad blood. But hey, man, with that being said, y'all spam us. Uh, y'all spam us up in the comments, man. If y'all still play with Bay Blades, let us know in the comments. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Got some kids watching. You finna frown up like watch some grown ass. No, what's not? Yeah, I saw you said, you said. No, I was thinking. I was like, I mean, if you do, you do. I won't be opposed to us playing a little bit. What are you gonna play it? <laughs> no, nah, I'm trying to get a ping pong table. I want a pool table. Shorty, you can't play pool. pool. Yes, you I can't can. play ping pong. You can't play I can play ping pong. Who? Darts. We used to play darts I'll all the time. I smoke your ass and darts. Just... We used to play darts all the time. And I do know how to play pool. Ping pong, I haven't played in forever. Table oh, tennis. You will get smacked in ping pong. <clears throat> what you doing? Just like baby. <laughs> We can play. We can get some bad blades. I'm very competitive. You don't know what I like. We can do. get some bad blades and put it out there and, and make it a little short and see everybody online. So everybody online can see you get your ass whooped. <laughs> Cause I'm a, I'm gonna go and say I, hey, I need to do some research. Let me get a heavy duty joint. <laughs> so your little plastic shit gone. All right. All right. What? I'm, I'm just you don't want no smoke with me. Y'all spend what's up. Let us know y'all thoughts in the feed down below. But it's always. <laughs> I do go with the name DJ New Kid. This is We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar.